What's the story everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is just a starting 11 and preview for tomorrow's game against Toulouse in the Europa League. Um, match day 3, back in Anfield once again. Um, I'll just really go on and talk about the opposition, first of all, and then I'll really start with the starting 11. Um, Toulouse, our club based in the south of France. Um, so far in the league, they've, they're have they mid-table, they've won a couple of games, they've lost a couple of games, drawn a few games, so it's it's kind of an up and down start to the season where they pull up a big scalp and then they lose to a team that they really should beat. Um, they're a team that don't really score an awful lot of goals, which is uh, surprising really considering that they're in Europe, you're in Europe this year. And um, so they're definitely going to be a side that will want a big scalp at Anfield. There's no question about that. So hopefully we'll be, we'll be very clinical on the day and get the job done. So as we're going to really talk about that, we're going to go to the starting 11. Um, this is giving me a bit, a bit serious of thought because of should we really keep the majority of players on the pitch or should we really take a few out, put a few new faces in, etc. So this is the 11 that, I would, that I've predicted for. Um, in goal, I've gone for Queen Kelleher. Number one, he's the Europa League goalkeeper. He's also the cup goalkeeper as well. Um, if he's 100%, then I don't see any reason why he shouldn't be playing tomorrow night. And yeah, just be give him games. Give him games. And obviously, this is the perfect opposition for him. He's at home at Anfield, so he shouldn't feel too much pressure. Let Alisson have the night off and prepare him for the, the Knott's Forest game on Sunday. Um, back four, Joe Gomez at right back. Came on and done well in the sneaked the left back against Everton the other day. So no doubt he will be starting in this fixture. Um he's done really well since the start of the season, I have to say, and he's one that's caught my eye by surprise because I thought that he was pretty much finished at Liverpool and he would have gone for somewhere else in the summer, but he stuck around, he knuckled down and um he's uh he's proved a few people wrong, including myself so far, so long may that continue. Centre halves, I've gone for Joe, Joe Matup on the right hand side and Joel Quanz on the left hand side. Quanz is a really good talent and um, just needs to be playing one game a week for me, considering that okay, he's just turned 20, so it's just easing him into the games as easy as possible and hopefully is less hectic as the season goes on. So Quanz at home with Joel Matup beside him because Matup only came on for the half an hour against Everton. And left back, I just keep Simicas playing him because he is the Europa League left back this season. You know what I mean? Why not get him these games in now and then he's ready, he's match fit, he's ready to go. So I, I, that would be the one sort of continuity in that back four I would keep. So Simicas at left back. And midfield, I've gone for Otaro Wendo as a defensive midfielder. He didn't feature in the game against Everton, but I presume he will definitely feature in this fixture. Probably give him the full 90, because he just had his, he's just come off the international break with Japan. So this would be an ideal fixture for him to start in and probably play the majority of the game. In And the right side of the field, I've gone for Harvey Elliott. He was really good when he came off the bench the other day and looked very lively, very sharp, and could have scored a Buy him goal if it wasn't for a save from Pickford. So there's no doubt he should start in this game for me. Uh, Curtis Jones on the left-hand side. Again, he was suspended for the Everton game. He's going to be suspended for the Knott's Forest game. So I just think it makes perfect sense in the world to play him in this fixture for the Europa League game. As he he should be match fit anyway. I know he didn't go away for the international break, but he should be he's fine. He's in good nick. There's no injury worry with him, so... It should be all good with him. Uh, front three, I've gone for Mohamed Salah. Just maybe because it's a home fixture and he'd probably be given 45, maybe 60 for this for this game. Just he probably wants to get fancy a couple more goals. So he's as fit as a field. He very rarely gets injuries. So that's the way I'll probably put it. And then maybe as it gets towards the, the 60 minute mark, maybe bring in Ben Doke on. A Ben Doke in for the next the last half an hour if he's recovered from his knee problem. Uh, left winger, I've gone for Diago Jota. He was he was taken off for Nunes 
I think there's no doubt Jota will start in this fixture. And as a centre forward, I've gone with uh, Darwin Nunes. I think Jota and Nunes as a two with a Salah can work well because they can change the different variety of positions in the front three. Whether one drops deep, one stays in the middle, while the other is just trying to get in behind the the back the opposition back line. So that will be the start eleven, and obviously we should have an okay bench. Diaz is on the bench if you need him. McAllister, Sabasoy, and maybe if Cody Gakbo is fit, he probably gets in the last half an hour just to kind of give him up up to date with his fitness. And um, and hopefully and maybe Gravenberch given the last half an hour as well. And he's the one that's really impressed me since he's since his fourth game, Gravenberch. You know what I mean? Definitely the type of fifth filler we needed last season, if I'm being completely honest with you. You know, but um, it just goes to show you that I think when the, the new signs we made, former fielders, Salva has been the best of one of them. Gravel Merch has been the second best, you'd have to say. Endo is not really judged on the the high ceilings of uh, Salva Soy, McAllister and Gravel Merch, but he's a good utility player to have in your squad whenever you need him. I think McAllister has been the one where he probably needs to improve on. Now, maybe because of the fact he's been played out of position and he's not really comfortable in that area, I totally get that. So hopefully in the January, if we do sign a defensive midfielder, he will be available and we can definitely move him into the left side of uh, A position with him fighting with Curtis Jones as backup. So, yeah, um, just for tomorrow, obviously it's a game where we probably want to expect play a lot more better than what we did against Everton. I know we won one on Saturday and one against Everton, but this is a good fixture for us to have. They're not travelling away in a foreign country. Obviously, we'll be doing that in a couple of weeks' time. Away to lose, but hopefully this will be a good game, a few goals, a nice handy win, and a nice clean sheet to go with that as well. As We've obviously got the, the Nuts Forest game to prepare for on Sunday afternoon. So, uh, so that's it, everybody. Um, hope you liked the video. If you do, please click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you're watching this as well, wherever you're watching this. Also let us know in the comments section down below about what 11 you will go with in your predictions for the game. And also click on the notifications to let you know about the next video that I'll be putting out there as well. Um, I'll be doing a video after the the game tomorrow night, so hopefully it's three, three points for our group. So uh, in the meantime, and between time, have a good day or a good night wherever you're watching this. Cheers, all the best.